can't make. Are we live? Are, are we on? Are we? On? Yeah, we're on. All right. What's up, man? You can't make this stuff up. You literally cannot make this stuff up. So I'm at work, right? I'm at the bar. The bar. I'm the owner. You know, you know the owner. You know the guy who owns the place. You know the guy who, you know, with his other partners, put in their hard-earned money, and you know, ten years ago, and decided to open up this place and hire employees. You know that guy. So we hired this girl. <sighs> As a food runner slash waitress. So she's food running, right? All right. This girl is late every freaking day. We're not talking 10 minutes late, five minutes late, 15 minutes late. We're talking late, late. 40 minutes, 30 minutes late. Imagine that. Imagine being late to work every day, 30 to 40 minutes. Imagine. Imagine being late and then walking in with an attitude. Imagine that. This is what this woman does. She walks in with an attitude while she's 30 minutes late. No call. No, hey, I'm running late, man. I'm trying. Oh, this happened. That happened. No, no, no. Just, what's up? I'm here. What's up? Don't talk to me. What's the part? What's, what, what's, what's part of her job? Part of her job is to answer the phone carryouts. You know, you carry out and you, you answer the carryouts in your food run. Very easy job. Pays very well. Doesn't take a lot of brain power, just takes effort. That's all it takes is effort. All right, you don't need to be a rocket scientist, you don't even need to graduate high school, you don't even probably ever had to have gone to school. You literally, I mean, you kind of got to know how to read and write, but that's about it. That's literally about it. It's not the most difficult job in the world, it just got to be done. It just got to be done. Pays very well. Pays very well. I used to do that job when I was an uh, owner, and I got paid almost half of what these people get paid. Think about that for a second. And I did my job very well. Because I do all my jobs very well. When I work, I'm at work. I'm working. I'm there to work. So part of her job is to answer the phone now. What happens a lot is that she'll answer the phone when there's food up in the window. She'll place the call on hold. Run the food. And then, you know, hopefully come back to the phone. Well, she has to have a habit of placing calls on the phone. And never returning to those phone calls. Leaving the carryouts on hold indefinitely. Until I happen to notice it. And I answer it. So after several times of telling this person to stop doing that. To prioritize the phone calls first. Then run the food. Because the food's under the hot. Uh, the heater. And it only takes about 10 to 30 seconds to complete these carryout phone calls. They don't take forever. They're very quick. You, how are you, These phone calls take 30 seconds. Yet you leave them on hold for 5 minutes. It's embarrassing people don't care they don't have any respect for their work all right they don't have respect for themselves they just do what they want all right so after her walking in 40 minutes late today which i was doing her job for those 40 minutes where she wasn't there because i didn't have anybody else to do her job so i'm i'm, I'm the food runner. i'm the owner i'm the food runner and i'm the guy answering the phone calls i'm answering the call the, the, the carry outs that i'm doing that now that's what i do anytime anything that needs to be done i'm gonna do you know i'm just not gonna let it be done all right, because I'm the owner. You know, if I got to wait tables, I'm going to wait tables. If I got to wash dishes, I'm going to wash dishes. If I got to clean the damn toilet, I'm going to clean the damn toilet. So this girl comes in 40 minutes late. First phone call, puts it on hold. Runs some food to a table. I'm watching her on the cameras. And then proceeds to go play on her phone. Never coming back to check on the carry out calls so I pick up the phone after I, I see that she was going to neglect it it's a 50 dollar order at least 50 maybe 60 lamb chops I get them chicken wings bam I got you so I go down there and I say listen how many times do I have to tell you and I don't get I don't get disrespectful I, I don't ever talk disrespectful to my employees I, talk, I treat everybody with respect and that, and that could be the problem that literally could be the problem but whatever I'm not going to change I'm not going to I'm not going to act different all right, because people are idiots. I'm like, listen, I've told you a hundred times, do not leave the carry out calls on hold. We're not doing that today. This ain't it, fam. We're not doing that today. All right, please prioritize the phone calls, then get to the food in the window. 
What does she tell her boss? Not her boss, the owner of the business. What does she tell me? She tells him. What do you do all day? Oh. You talking to me? Are you talking to me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You just said, what did you do all day? Is that what you, you talking to me? You just told your boss, what do you do all day? With an attitude? Huh. I said, let me ask you something. You were 40 minutes late today. I have never worked with you where you weren't at least a minimum of 15 to 20 minutes late. What was your response to that? I'm a single mom. I be doing this all on my own. What? And? What does that got to do with you being late every day? Don't call. Don't give any excuses. Just you're late. Ever talk to your boss like that? Are you are you crazy? I didn't get like that, but I was like, oh, you know what? You can go home. I, I'm not doing this today. Like you, you obviously have an attitude. You can go home. She tells me, you better get your finger out my face. Who you think you talking to? Really? This is what we're doing now. So now, not only can you go home, you're fired. Congratulations, you played yourself. She proceeds to not want to leave and keeps running up in her mouth, telling all the people how lazy I am. I'm, I'm lazy right now. Yeah, no bird. Uh, yeah, yeah, shot, yeah. Okay, that's how you feel? You're telling the owner he's lazy. First of all, I'm not supposed to do that. I'm there to supervise y'all. Any, and, 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 and psh, lazy? Are you, are, is that a joke? You know how much work I put in there for no reason? All right, to, to catch up because you guys are slacking because half our employees are are slacking. That we have to we have to help out. That we we, we low key understaff sometimes so you all can make a little bit of extra money. So I gotta help out, even though you know the smart thing as a business owner would be do this to overstaff it. But you know we want y'all to make y'all money. We want y'all to make y'all money, right? So we kind of we, we understaff a little bit. All right, so the, the waitresses will make a little bit extra money, you know, instead of bringing another waitress here. And you know that, that actually that's a stupid thing to do. We need to stop that. But anyways, so telling her to leave, she's like, "Well, my ride's on their way." All right, and she's yapping her mouth, and I was like, "You need to leave the back." And she's like, "I'm not leaving." So she proceeds to stay in the back room and pretty much taunt me, taunt me the whole time, like wanting me to like fight her. I guess I don't know what she was trying to do. She comes by the, the carry-out drawer where the drawer is. I'm standing in front of it, and she comes and she opens it so it hits me, and then walks away. I'm like, this is this girl's crazy. Like she's literally gone cuckoo. You just assaulted me. If I was petty, I could have called the cops. She hit me. She hit me. <laughs> Nanny. So finally, she leaves. Right after just standing there for ten minutes, as I'm doing her job now. You know, I'm, I'm doing the job. Now. She finally leaves. She comes back in. I see her walk back in. 15 minutes later comes in the office and I need my money for the my waitress shifts that you know I want my money right now I was like well that ain't how it works you know you'll get your money in the mail checks come every two weeks it ain't check it ain't payday you I know I want it now excuse me can you leave my office you need to put you need to uh, lower your voice stop talking to me like that I said I'm not my voice is a little high number one number two you need to leave the premises you're no longer welcome here you're fired what are you doing here all right, I don't like your attitude about the situation, so you need to go. She starts tripping out again. So she leaves and comes back with, I don't know, her brother, her man, oh, she's a single mother, so her baby daddy, um, her brother, her cousin, I don't know. This dude, now mind you, we're, we're open at this time, but there's people in the bar. He comes in storming. Like he came in hot. He was going, he's gonna DM me, what's up? He wanted some meat, boy. He was going, he, he was about to take me out. So he comes in. You talking to her like that? You disrespecting this female, man? I heard you be you be disrespecting all these females around here. Da, 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 da. I go, excuse me? I be I be doing what? Yeah, I heard you be disrespecting, you be talking to these females like they trash, like they garbage. You better respect these black females. All my waitresses are sitting there, are, are listening to this. And I was like, ladies, do I talk to you guys disrespectfully ever once, ever? And they're all like, no. Is this, are you serious? This is a joke? The, uh, DME? Never. 
He's the nicest boss I've ever worked for. That's what they all say. I'm too nice. To, to a fault, I'm nice. To a fault. No one has ever talked to me like that. No one has ever accused me of that. And he's screaming this in the box. And I know he's just doing it because she filled him up with all these lies, man. She's telling him all this trash. So he'd come up there and beat me up or something. So I took control of the situation. I was like, listen, bro. I got you. I got you, bro. I'm not mad at you. Listen, I know what's up. I know, I know why. This isn't your fault, bro. I get it. I've been there. I've been there. She's filling your head with lies, man. And you're up here and you're trying to respect her honor and, and this and that. Like, I've been there. I've been there. A girl has done that. Girls have done that to me. To me. I know what's up, man. I know what's up. This ain't your fault, bro. Like, come here. Let me talk to you for a minute, man. He's like, <laughs> just, just, just let me talk. Come, on, come here. Let me talk to you, man. You're yelling at me. You're just, there's people here. They don't want to hear this. They don't this is a little embarrassing. You know, Loki. Stop saying Loki. So, pull him over to the side. Of course, crazy girl's right behind him, you know. You know, I tell her, I tell him what happened, you know? And I was like, look, bro, it ain't your fault. I get it, man. Like, I get it. I go, I go, she hyped you up, man. You coming in here? What's up? You know, you know how, you know, you know, you know how they are, man. All these women are, man. They're crazy. He's like, are you for real? She did that. I was like, bro, they're all here witnesses. They all can tell you. Everybody's here. We got cameras. It's not like it's like she can lie all she wants. It's all every, no one here agrees with the story she's telling no one here. Nobody in the kitchen. Nobody. Now you tell me about was disrespectful to these females and disrespecting them on a, such a level the way you were accusing me of. You think these people would still work for me? You think these people would uh, uh, bite their tongue and, and, and ride for me for that? No, they wouldn't. No, that's crazy. Because it's not true. She's legit lost her freaking mind, bro. It's all good, man. I, I, I flipped it. And now he got mad. He starts getting mad at her. To a point where they ends up snatching her up and taking her out the bar. I flipped it. I told you, Jay Legend. I told you, man. Words can solve anything. If I would have handled it in a different way, this could have went completely left. It could have went. It could turn into a brawl. It could have. It could have shut our bar down again. But a conversation can settle anything. Anything. At the end. She came in with the intention of this of this man coming in there and beating me up. This man left, snatching her up by her hoodie, and said, "Let's go. You gotta find you another job, idiot." And and, and basically dragged her out of there and told her to shut up. Because I reasoned with them. I showed them what was real. I had witnesses. I have proof. I, under, I understand where you're coming from. He was yelling at me in front of my in front of people. In front of my employees, he was disrespecting me, going crazy. Not once did I lose my temper. Did I, was I, I wasn't scared. I didn't lose my temper. I just chill. Because I know if I talk to this dude, he gonna see that what, 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 what this is all about. And he did. Luckily, he was a reasonable guy. Not everybody's reasonable, again. Not everybody's reasonable. But I think most people are. I think the minority of people aren't reasonable. So I'm telling this story just to tell y'all that a conversation can solve anything. This could have went completely left. All right, I'm almost confident if it was if it was handled by somebody else or this was even my brother or somebody, this could have went a whole different way and got ugly and bad. The police could have been called. There, it would have been a complete scene. It would have been an embarrassment. Another black eye. But I handled it correctly. I'm actually proud of myself. I'm not, I'm not, we did it! No, <laughs> but you know, and for the young lady who I don't know, you know, has a bad attitude. She was just saying how you know she needed more hours, you know, because she's broke. You know, well maybe you know now you're looking for a new job instead of you had a great job. You had a great job working for good people. All right, anybody who ever worked for us will tell you we're good people, man. We take care of our employees. We, our customers love us. You know, otherwise we we wouldn't have lasted 11 years. This is our 11th year. You know. And you had a good job. You were you were you were working your way up, and you would have started making more money and more money, and you would have set yourself up. But because you have a bad attitude, and because you don't, and because you don't respect your boss, and you think you can just talk to authority, I, I, whatever you, regardless of who I am or what I am, I'm 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 the authority in this situation. I'm your boss. All right. I have never worked for a boss as cool as I am. 
All my bosses have been complete pricks. Like, almost all of them. Any boss I've ever worked for, I hated. I'm not like that. People don't hate me. They love me because I'm very fair. I'm very fair. And I take care of them as far as financially. They make good money there. They make way more money than they're going to make at most places. You know what I'm saying? So, the point is, you ruined all that because, number one, you're lazy. Because you rather text on your phone than actually do your job. You got no respect for yourself or your or your or your or your job or your employer by coming in late every single day without any excuses and just think you just can do what you want. And she literally, when I told her you were late 45 minutes, she goes, No, I wasn't. I go, how how you was? You're supposed to be at 6, 640. And she gave me the Rome and. She literally gave me the Rome and and and, and. like what? She said and I cracked a little smile, you know, like when I heard that, man, even though I was pissed. But a little bit of his mouth. She really did. She literally gave me the Rome and. Wow, it's hilarious. But, you know, now instead of now you, now you, now you square one, baby. You square one because you couldn't, you know. And it wasn't just like, oh, this was a one time thing. She was having a bad day. She always had an attitude problem. She always walked in with an attitude. So, you know, hey, I hope everything works out for you, baby. You know, don't. And I hope that dude realizes, you know, that. You know, when a girl comes up to you and says this and that, and this guy did this and that, da, 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 you don't really want. Don't come in hot, cause you know if it wasn't me, you know, I might have went left. I might have went left. Just saying, there were people at the bar who had my back, who were ready to jump on, dude. If he actually even tried anything, you think the regulars didn't have my back? Are you kidding me? Uh, I had like there was like five people surrounding dude. All right, and he was oblivious to it, cause he was just like he saw red, he saw a little red. He was looking at me, he saw red, he didn't see the people surrounding him. All right, he didn't calm down, so I pulled him over and was like, "Bro, this ain't your fault. She's playing you. She lied. She lied to you, man. It's, you gotta understand. You gotta know that. Come on, man. Let's let's get realistic. You really think I just went off on her for no reason, and just and just called her all these names for no reason? I didn't even call her any names, right? I was just telling her to leave, and she wouldn't leave. Anyways, tales from the bar. All right, or or not tales from the bar. Uh, yeah, it could be tales from the bar, whatever you want to call this. But you know, thought I'd share that with you. Battle rap next. Peace.